Who boy, this is gonna be a video. This is going to be something. This is such a cursed idea. And I almost wasn't gonna do it. I was like, nah, this is kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. And you know, Noah, he here we are now. We're here. Uh, hey everyone, uh, this is John, GWC. Today, I'm gonna be combining three different AI programs together in one. So my three bases are gonna be AI Dungeon, Crayon, or as it was originally known, Dolly Mini, and Uber Duck. So AI Dungeon, I'm gonna let the AI make a story. I'm gonna keep giving it prompts. It's gonna make this story. Dolly Mini is going to provide the images of said story in any prompt that comes. And obviously, you know, I have a pretty, I have a pretty good narration voice, but is it really good enough for this video? Uh, no. so that's where Uber Duck's gonna come in, where I'm gonna have text to speech voice of loads of different characters and things. So each line is going to be AI narrated. So it's AI versus AI versus AI all coming together for a horrifying <laughs> creation. So I don't know what to make of this. This is going to, this is gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, we gotta start off. We, we gotta start off. And here's a tough choice now. What setting do we put this story in? Because that's gonna affect a lot of things too in terms of how ridiculous this can get and so on. My, my inner mystery fan is tingling, but my inner Lord of the Rings fan is also getting pretty excited. We gotta stay on brand. So we're gonna go apocalyptic. We're, we're gonna stick to just apocalyptic. Ooh. You know what? S Survivor. My favorite Destiny's Child song. Because I'm a survivor. Enter your character's name. You know, we're gonna stay on brand. John. Yes, this is now a fanfic. This is the Gaming with Class fan fiction story. You are John, a survivor trying to survive in a post apo Oh, wait, no. I can't speak this line. But I know someone who can say this. You are Joan, a survivor trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic <laughs> world by scavenging among the ruins of what is left. You have a backpack and a canteen. You haven't eaten in two days, so you're desperately searching for food. You enter a rundown building and find it to be a church where a few dead bodies have been left. You presume for lighter use. You won't find much food here, but you do find a box of cartridges for a rifle. Oh my lord. I don't think I ever want to hear Spongebob say where a few dead bodies have been left. <laughs> oh, this is already off to a bad start. <laughs> what do you do? John looks around for snacks. He's starving. You enter a run-out house and see a woman. She's covered in dirt and grime and is badly burning. She's the owner of the house, it seems, and she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. <laughs> Th thanks for telling me the story. <laughs> good, good job. <laughs> okay, I think I need to like advance this this bad boy like quick. Let's go to story. You leave the house and begin your journey towards the city. You know now that you're going the wrong way, but you have no idea which direction is correct. You spot a manhole cover and decide to investigate. <laughs> thanks, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Thank you. You really helped alleviate that story. You know you're going the wrong way. It's like, this really is me. This story, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use myself in this. You know, every choice I'm making in this story, it's pretty spot on. All right, I'm gonna head to the city. You know you're going the wrong way? Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Walk away from the manhole immediately and get back on the right path. You decide to follow the old path you took. You know it'll be quicker that way. You run past a house and that's on fire. It looks like a whole block of houses are on fire. Damn. Damn, that's good. Listen, I was going to do the rest of the video with like a different voice each one. Nah, I, I got to stick to the Hank Hill. <laughs> Just narrating this, this tale. Charge directly into the burning building to get warm and get supplies. Good going, John. Good going, John. You charge directly at the burning building. The building begins to collapse under you. 
You are bright under fallen rubble. What? You struggle to get up, but fail and die. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> the story. I haven't done anything in the story. Uh, the end? The end. Well, that first story went horribly wrong. All I did was enter a building, leave a building, enter a building, and die. Hopefully this next one goes a bit better. Let's try zombies. Let's do, let's do a zombie story. Survivor. Yeah, you know, you know I'm just going to keep being a survivor. <laughs> I, I gotta redeem myself. Who's the character? I'm the character. Uh, John again. You are John a survivor trying to serve him in a world filled with infected zombies everywhere. You have a pistol and a backpack. You have managed to serve him several months avoiding zombies and scavenging food. You cautiously enter a run-in store and hear something behind the counter. You fan. You so. You so. It's 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 so. You quietly go up to the counter and prepare to kill the infected that might be hanging behind. You can see a man in what looks like the girl from the convenience store next door. Uh, okay, that was the experience. That was a journey getting through that one. It was like, it started off pretty clean. It's like, okay, Peter, get on. And then halfway through the second sentence, I don't know what went wrong. Do you know, let me say something. Uh, y'all got snacks? There we go. That's what'll get the conversation started. Now answer. You whispered, Dan Hell got snacks. Nothing. You look around <laughs> and see if there's another whistle to take you down. Hey, Peter, y'all got snacks? <laughs> what do you do? Leave the store and head to a community. You had to a community. Up there is a community somewhere close by. You need to find a group of people that can help you or you might be on your own. Oh, well. Thank you, Ed. Very well said. What do I do? Set up camp for the night and cook some baked beans. You decide to set up camp and cook some baked beans. You have a can of baked beans left over from your childhood. You boil the pot on the camp stove and eat. Ugh, that's kind of a disgusting <laughs> can of baked beans left over from your childhood. <laughs> well, okay, in this story, why am I just carrying around childhood baked beans? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I'm about to die. What's Anthony Fantano doing there? Cooking up a bad review? Wouldn't be his first time. Uh, I guess I'm going to continue. Eat the expired... Baked beans? Oh, I, I I didn't realize this was a thing. Okay. Well, I was really put a sail in, in my coat. Um. Oh, well, that's great. So we had that great prompt and it just killed my story. We, we don't ever get to figure out what I was going to do eating those expired childhood baked beans. Th that's honestly kind of depressing. I I'm actually kind of sad. I wanted to see what I was going to do. I, I guess we'll never know. Shoot, that sucks. I am I ever going to finish a story good? It's the worst video. <laughs> it's like, I wanted to come here and see stories. I'm getting nothing here. But they always say, third time's a charm. We're going to try it again. Zombies. Survivor. <laughs> This is it for real this time. This is going to be the story we finish. It's going to be fully fleshed out. Beautiful. You are John, a survivor trying to survive in a world field with infected zombies everywhere. You cautiously Yoda, you good? Uh, what am I going to do? Steal the baked beans and run out the store like a mad man. Zombies are quick things. You hear a clunk from the back as the door closes. Then you hear a low rumbling and feel the ground under your feet start to shake. Okay. Run away screaming. 
You manage to make it to a rooftop and jump off it before the shaking ground collapses beneath you and sends you plunging into the street. The rumbling gets louder and louder until it finally stops. <laughs> Got MJ doing narration on here. What's wrong with me? Open up those can of beans and start digging in. You have a large can of baked beans and you've been a little <laughs> smart shoving them in your mouth. Lay fast, you can't afford it. Well, finally go. Lay, can't do that. Done the don't. Play gentle. You have reached the end game. <laughs> you know, that was pretty accurate, Stephen A. Smith, just yelling. <laughs> you have a large can of baked beans. Okay, I gotta hear that one again. <laughs> I gotta hear that one again. You have a large can of baked beans and you've been a leader and start shoving them in your mouth. Lay fast, you can't afford it. Well, finally go. Lay, can't jump that. Plan the don't. Play gentle. You have reached the end game. Is that part after he said, finally goes black? You have reached the end game. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> I love this so much. I guess walk around the black void. You wake up trapped in a black void. There is no time limit and no zombies chasing you. Somehow, the experience is even more frightening. Endgame. What is endgame? That was kind of perfect, honestly. Like, it was like, dang, it was really good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I guess take a months long nap and wait for all of this to blow over yeah you spend the next two days resting and waiting to read for the world to go back to mono you're eventually rewarded when the zombies start to disappear from the streets perfect i guess the zombies are just now disappearing i guess taking a nap is all i had to do was just Oh, shoot, these zombies are a problem. You know, let me just sleep for a bit, and I'm sure it'll be done when I wake up. Hey, look, it actually happened. I guess head back home and start your new life. You walk away from the void and into a new normal life. The only thing that's left to do is figure out how you got there, how you got back. Uh, do I need to figure out how I got back home? I honestly could care less. I'm like, shoot, I'm home. I'm good now. Uh, I, I guess. What do I do? Uh, chill at home and catch up on my anime backlog. Listen, I, I had to bring anime into this. I couldn't help myself. You decide to spend your leftover savings on a few episodes of your favorite anime. You are soon watching each <laughs> and every episode multiple times until your own backlog has been properly satisfied. Damn, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually a pretty good, like, the story is wrapping up kind of nice. It's like, I started off, I was running away from the zombies. I entered a black void. The zombies are gone. I'm at home watching anime. I I'm getting through my backlog. This is a happy ending. I should end this now before something else happens. Oh, the other stories, they all ended terrible. I, I should quit while I'm ahead. I'm at a pretty good spot. Oh boy, that image is, uh, it's not too great. I don't know the anime he's watching in there. I don't think I'd be watching that. Looking like some school days type anime. What happens next? John looks out at his window to see the sunset. He has a look of determination on his face that everything will be okay. This concludes the story. John looks out at his window to see the sunset. He has a look of determination on his face that everything will be okay. This concludes the story. The end. Oh man, that's the end of the story. That's a little tearjerker at the end. That's a happy ending. Hey, you very rarely get it with these kind of things. You know what? I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> I mean, this photo doesn't help, but I'm happy about it nonetheless. So yeah, I guess that's going to conclude this little video AI experiment. Um, did it work? Yeah? Was it good? M maybe? I don't know. Was it entertaining? Yes, very much. This was like two hours to do all this with going between all the different websites. But hey, pretty fun. I I'm not going to lie. If only the stories got finished. I I'm still 
sad we didn't get the end of the baked bean saga but we got a happy ending on the third one so you know what i will take that so i'm gonna call it here on my end thank you very much for watching if you liked what you saw definitely uh, consider liking consider subscribing and, and let me know sh should i do more of these should, should there be a part two of wh whatever this is <laughs> let, let me know and i i will do it we will continue on with more stories because there are a lot of settings here i didn't get to them so i don't even know what uh, a cyberpunk story is gonna be like with this <laughs> so yeah uh that's gonna be it for me here thanks for watching as always i'm john gwc and i will see you later peace <laughs>